You like to play games and sleepovers? Girls play this one game, it's really sick, called Truth or Dare. This is a sick game. You find out if a girl has a secret, and you surround her on the bed like vultures on a carcass. And you're sitting there going, okay, truth or dare? Okay, okay, you're at the mall Friday night. You disappeared for 20 minutes with Jason. <laughs> truth or dare? And the poor girl's sitting there going, I'll take the dare, I'll take the dare. That's why you'll see a girl running around the block at one o'clock in the morning in her boxer shorts screaming, I'm on a mission! <laughs> Police are pulling you over. Pull over. No way, copper, I'm going for double dare. But the thing that girls like to do the most at sleepovers is talk about... Sixth grade girls, boys. <laughs> Seventh grade girls, guys. Eighth grade girls, men. Older men, 14 and a half year olds whose voices have changed. Oh, and girls, when you talk about boys, I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. If I had a video tape of all the stuff you said, uh, <laughs> would guys ever go near you again? I mean, girls, and girls, you're so blunt. You're so honest. Well, what's he kiss like? Niagara Falls. <laughs> Bring a towel. He's all over the place. This is breath bath. Smells like a camel died inside his mouth about 2,000 years ago. In fact, some of you girls here, and I don't want to identify you, you know who you are, but at sleepovers, some of you girls actually teach each other how to... What are you so tired about, girls? I was gonna say how to do algebra. What are you so tense about? What did you think I was gonna say? You feel guilty before I even say it? Uh-huh. Oh, they don't kiss each other, it's worse. What they like to do is they, they get these little pillows. They put a picture of their favorite guy on the pillow. <laughs> they hold the pillow lovingly, and then all the girls are like, okay, be careful, okay? Talk to him, tell him it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and then the girl goes, okay, you just broke his nose. Turn your head slightly. Oh, there's drool all over the pillow. I need a new pillow. Take out your retainer before you kiss him. <laughs> Guys, we don't need help. We practice where our arm bends right here. It's perfect for kissing. No, it's a perfect kissing zone. Guys are like, you're looking good. I'm going to take you to heaven. <laughs> wow, slow down. <laughs> wow, you, you smell like dry cleaning fluid. <laughs> I'm kidding. Girls don't kiss pillows, and guys don't kiss their arms. Yeah, teachers do. Anyway, in fact, if you want to know which advisors here are practicing their kissing today, this week, they're the ones wearing long sleeves. If they're not good kissers, they're wearing long sleeves. If they're great kissers, they're wearing short sleeves. So look around, check out your advisor. Well, I have to wear long sleeves for the taping, otherwise... No, no, hey, I'm, I'm not part of this. <laughs> you got me, dude. You know, speaking of advisors, these people put out so much for you. They got up early this morning, they love you, they work hard. Let's give your advisors a big hand. Awesome.